Good morning, Michigan Gardeners. It's July 30th, 2021. This is Doug at Boston Family Farm. We're located on Verona Road, just outside of Marshall, Michigan. Um, today I'm gonna to do a video on some cut flowers that we're doing. Um, I have my golf cart and I've got uh, lots of buckets on here. Um, each of the buckets has been cleaned, some bleach and water, and then um, filled with about, I usually do about a third full of water because when people come in and they pull stems out to make their bouquet, sometimes they don't push a stem back in, they decide they don't want. So most people say about a quarter full, but I do about a third full of water. And then I do add a little bit of bleach to each one of the containers um, to help uh, with the bacteria. Um, that the stems will introduce or any loose leaves that you might have in there. Um, I've started the process with some state fair zinnias. Um, you'll see over here row of zinnias and so I've cut off this very end a little bit and then I've got celosia and the blue over here is ageratum. The sweet peas are kind of going by so I don't pick those anymore. And then over here is a row of dahlias which I'm hoping I can get a bucket of dahlias today too. So what I'm going to do is uh, cut the flowers and then I'll show you the final product at the end and talk to you a little bit more about flowers. So here I am about a quarter of the way done. Um, I've got snapdragons again. Uh, again, um, what you want to do after they bloom that first time, end of June, beginning of July, and you get your first uh, flush of bloom, you want to cut them cut them back, keep them cut off as much as possible, deadheaded, so they'll go into production and produce more flower stems and flowers. And, and that's what we got with the snapdragons. They're absolutely beautiful right now. And then I finished filling the pale of zinnias with more state fairs, but also the Benari giants, which are a really good cut flower. Um, they're fuller. They're, they're double like this orange one you see in front. Um, rather than more of a single, like you see with this yellow here, which is a state fair. Um, then you've got um, some celosias here, or cox coxcomb they call it, um, some blue ageratum, and then I've just started on this bu uh, bucket here with some uh, what they call crespedia or drumstick. It's another interesting filler. We can use that in dried flower bouquets along with the celosia. Um, so I'll give you another update when I'm a little bit further and another one when I'm finished. So a little closer to being done. I've got the status cut and I'm gonna run short on pails. So I just set it on the seat and get a pail when I get up to the farm stand. Um, we did finally get some Lysianthus. Some people have been asking about that. Um, was not the most successful crop this year. Whether that was, uh, they were awfully small when we had them in the greenhouse and. Uh, never seem to size up much before we put them in the field. They're coming on a little bit now, but nothing like we've had in past years. Um, finished the bucket of dahlias. Uh, really nice selection of dahlias. And then this bucket is mostly what I call the button zinnias. They're the smaller ones, the Oklahomas, the Mazurkias, the Macarania. I'm not sure if I'm saying all those names right. Um, Lily putt. There's a whole bunch of We probably grow. 20 different types of zinnias and um, those are some of my favorites they're the smaller ones and then over here I did get some cosmos and this is a type of annual bee balm it's a great filler it's kind of an interesting thing um, and then I think I had some drumsticks in there before um, but I've still got to get uh, a little more stuff some amaranth and uh, dill and sunflowers and uh, any glads that might be coming. That's why I've got those two tall buckets down there for. So I'll give you an update at the end. So I finished, found some rudbeckias, um, some bunny tail grass, uh, some more blue salvia. I found lots of basil. We like to keep fresh basil in the uh, uh, farm stand for anybody who might be making pesto. It's also, you'll see it does going to flower we allow it to do that it stiffens up the stems a little bit makes it easier to use as a filler in a flower bouquet a um, little bit of lemon balm here that's another nice filler um, these taller marigolds last the longest of almost any flowers uh, lysianthus i think i showed you down here i've got some amaranth 
and then this flower here is Dara. It's uh, kind of a purpley Queen Anne's lace. And then the last thing I got was the sunflowers. Um, so again, if you're interested in making a bouquet or picking up a bouquet that uh, my sisters put together, uh, stop at the farm. We've got those things for sale. Um, we try to keep it stocked in every couple of days. Well, I'm picking every day, but if flowers are still there after a couple of days, we're pitching them to make sure we keep them fresh for our customers. Uh, if you've got a wedding or some big event, you can come see us. Uh, we may be able to work with you and do something for you. Um, so hope to see you at the farm and see you the next time on the next video.